Hello, my name is Eric Story. I'm your Special Districts Manager. And today I bring before you fiscal year 23-24 Landscape Maintenance District's adoption of resolution ordering the levy and collection of assessments for District Number 3. Recommendation that City Council, one, hold a public hearing to receive public testimony regarding the proposed fiscal year 23-24 assessments for LMD Number 3. And two, adopt a resolution of the City Council of the City of Oxnard, California confirming diagrams and assessments for fiscal year 23-24 in connection with the city's landscape maintenance district number three, River Ridge. On screen is a map of special districts in the city of Oxnard. Background, the special districts division of the public works department manages 48 assessment districts, which includes 36 LMDs. The city has allowed property owners to use special financing districts to fund the annual cost of maintaining certain public improvements that benefit properties within the district. Typically, a develop, the developer installed the public improvements at the time of the development and benefiting property owners pay the cost of maintaining the improvements through a special assessment included on the property's annual property tax bill. Proceeds of the assessments levied in each LMD fund the special benefit portion of the cost of maintaining and operating the improvements in that LMD. Assessments are levied annually and collected on the property tax roll. Therefore, each year per the Landscape and Lighting Act of 1972, the City Council must conduct proceedings to levy the real property assessments. Revenue received from the assessments partially funds the ongoing maintenance of public improvements provided by each district and, in some cases, is collected for future work that is conducted on a less than annual basis. In order to levy assessments in connection with the LMDs, each year, the City Council must adopt a number of resolutions that, among other things, approve an engineer's report describing the levy for the year and call a public hearing on the assessment. Then, City Council must hold the public hearing. Following the hearing, the City Council approves a resolution that confirms the assessment causes the assessment to be levied and collected on the property tax roll. The City Council cannot set the rate for the assessment in an LMD above the maximum rate approved by the property owners during the mail ballot assessment proceedings as adjusted by a property owner approved inflation adjustment formula. On June 6, 2023, the City Council adopted resolutions to initiate the annual proceedings for fiscal year 23-24 real property assessment levy and approved the report. The report includes a description of the improvements within each district, the proposed service levels, the estimated annual expenses for each district, funding to be collected for improvement projects for each district, the method of assessment apportionment for each lot or parcel within each district's boundaries, and diagrams showing the parcels within each district. The proposed assessment rates were calculated after a careful and thorough analysis of each district's current financial status. For district number three, the proposed assessment levy has been reduced to spend down funds that were carried over from the prior year. The proposed assessment levy will properly fund the district for fiscal year 23-24 and allow for sufficient reserves and service levels. Additional available service levels may include increased landscape maintenance frequency and improvement projects such as district-wide tree trimming, sidewalk grinding and replacement, irrigation repair, electrical system repair, and lighting repair and replacement. Finally, the frequency of routine services for this district is increasing from a level of service B to a level of service A. The district's proposed budget includes these costs and is within the maximum assessment rate. Partial specific detail of the proposed maximum and applied assessments is included in the report as attached and is available from the city clerk's office and accessible from the city's website. Costs considered to be of general benefit as defined in the report, are not allowed to be assessed to the properties and therefore are apportioned as a non-assessment fund expense. The general fund is proposed to cover additional costs, which are outlined in fiscal impact section of this report. The fiscal year 23-24 proposed operating budget includes funds necessary to cover these costs. The deadline for delivering the assessment information to Ventura County is July 5, 2023. Financial impact. For fiscal year 2023-24, the preliminary total projected expenditures for LMD number three is $132,390.30. 
This will be funded through $696.60 in 23-24 real property assessments, $181,695.35 in existing funds in the LMD account, $1,056 from interest income, and a general benefit contribution of $2,647.81 from the general fund. This concludes our presentation. Staff are available for questions. Thank you.